You know, people now talk about, why can't they make movies? Why are there so many bad movies out there? Um, why are movies so bad? And the fact these movies aren't so bad, or they're not, they're not any worse than any other kind of art. Paintings, why are paint, nobody asks, why are paintings so bad? Uh, why is sculpture so bad? And the reason is you go into a museum, I'm a New Yorker by birth, and I go to the city quite a bit, and I'm thinking of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in Fifth Avenue. I go in there, my favorite museum in the world, and and I don't see one painting that's not timeless and eternal. And you could get the impression that that's the quality of paintings, they're timeless and eternal, and yet so many movies I see are boring and stupid. Um, what you forget is that for every painting in that at the Met, there's 800 stupid, worthless, useless paintings that aren't there, they don't deserve to be there. Uh, film is in our face, television even more so, it's contemporary, there hasn't been the time to do the culling, the dropping away of the bad stuff. People say, I started the same moment ago, people say, why don't they make great movies like they did in the 30s and 40s? Well, did they make great movies in the 30s and 40s? They did. There were bunches of them. But they also made dreadful, awful movies in the 30s when we just forgot about them. And I predict that uh, years and years from now they'll have forgotten. Uh, about uh, Inherent Vice, a movie that I think is nominated for, is it nominated for, for Oscar? Um, in any event, I say it, it's just dreadful. Uh, I gave it 35 minutes. Um, yak, 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 blah, 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 talk, talk, talk. Joaquin being Joaquin, um, I think I'd living much of it, uh, improvising and just supposed to be somehow, I don't know, sexy or uh, uh, seductive in some way. I just didn't, didn't get it. A lot of people didn't, did, didn't get it. So I think people are going to, they're not going to remember Inherent Vice, but I think they're going to, they're going to remember uh, um, The Imitation Game. Um, so uh, all art is experimental. Uh, even the humblest episode of, of Laverne and Shirley was an experiment. Would it work this time, this way? And um, uh, usually when they say experimental, they mean bad, you know? <laughs> well, that was an experimental movie. Well, every movie's an experimental movie. So uh, I think the, a quality of nostalgia, uh, one, one quality of it, one characteristic that, that uh, describes nostalgia is this, this romanticizing of the past, that it, it used to be really, really good because we've forgotten about all the bad stuff.